Public companies may be forced to come clean about their climate change sins. A new SEC rule could expose hidden risks lurking beneath the surface of seemingly stable investments. But should the government get involved in this? Or is this another example of government overreach in climate change? This video is brought to you by DroneQuote, helping people buy solar, roofing, and energy storage through education. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button if you feel we've earned it, and check us out at DroneQuote.com. Let's consider this proposed SEC rule in a simple to understand context. If you are buying a used car, would you prefer to see cars with accurate Carfax reports? Carfax report. This rule provides decision-making information. It focuses on two crucial areas, a company's greenhouse gas emissions and how much climate-related risk like hurricanes or government regulations could hurt its business. This information tells you whether it will likely be a reliable and lucrative investment or a financial black hole. Naturally, this new rule has lit a bonfire of controversy with folks screaming invasion of corporate knowledge, governmental overreach, or claiming that data is not relevant to investors. So let's dive into the drama. On the surface, this whole SEC transparency push sounds fantastic. We all want companies to be greener, right? But this rule is a recipe that slows down real progress on stability. Here's the thing. This rule piles a mountain of complex reporting requirements on companies. Imagine having to track down emissions data from every supplier in your global supply chain. No, God, please, no, 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 no. That's a bureaucratic nightmare that could cost a fortune and suck valuable resources away from actual sustainability efforts. And let's not forget the whole data quality mess. Unreliable climate risk models and sketchy emissions accounting could create a new wave of greenwashing, confusing investors. Ultimately, this rule might be a bureaucratic boondoggle that hinders real progress. Or at least, that's what corporate America wants you to think so you can side with them as they make record profits while the average American is at the mercy of corporate greed. And now, climate change is no longer a distant threat. It's a financial time bomb ticking away for businesses across the globe. The SEC rule isn't about chaining businesses with regulations, but giving investors the X-ray vision to protect their money and make intelligent choices for a more prosperous future. Back to the Carfax example I gave earlier. How confident would you feel buying a very nice vehicle of your liking that had extensive flood damage throughout. Wouldn't you want to know that before you spend your hard-earned money? That's what the SEC rule does for investors. It reveals the hidden costs and risks lurking inside a company's operations. Businesses that understand the risks and take action to become more sustainable will win in the long run. This isn't just about saving the planet. It's about protecting your nest egg and investing in a future economy that works for everyone. But let's be honest. Even with this SEC rule, people aren't going to become savant traders, climate change won't be fixed, and pollution will not be stopped. It takes a whole collective effort, an effort that some people won't even consider taking because they discredit climate change. Climate change is a hoax. Regardless of whether or not climate change is real, nobody likes a negative return on investment. At the very least, it seems like this rule stands to help some people but unfortunately, it may turn other people off to renewable energy by association. There's already a push against green energy adoption, and we actually fall into the camp of why 100% green energy is a myth. Check out this video where I think I make a pretty good case for this, and if you're still here now, I must ask you to give it to me straight. How do we do on this video? People brought inaccuracies to our attention in other videos, which I greatly appreciate. I promise I can take feedback humbly. And while you're at it, please remember to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and feel we earned it.